Here is the shocking truth about shocking your pool. Well, the truth is, is that you're actually kind of doing yourself a disservice by using the word or the term shock. And in almost every case, it's applied incorrectly. And so when you're attempting to speak with other people about your pool or get help from professionals, you're using and applying this term in such a way that it's implying one thing, but you're doing another thing. And, and really, you could just eliminate it entirely. Every single instance that you can name where you're using the word shock, you could just not use that. And we'll use other words, and it will be more technical. For example, I'm not going to shock my pool with chlorine. I'm going to increase my free chlorine readings because they're currently one part per million, and I want to increase them to three parts per million. So you see, it's kind of not the same thing there because what if we're talking about non-chlorine shock? Is that the same thing? It's not because again, we're using improper terminology here. And if we remove the word shock, I would then say, I'm going to apply a measured dose of oxidizer to my swimming pool. Again, by eliminating the word shock, we're removing some of the technical inaccuracy here. And if you were to communicate in this method to other pool owners or to service professionals, you probably would achieve better results with your swimming pool water chemistry. When you go to the pool and spa store, half of the stuff that you're looking at says the word shock on it. So I totally get where you're coming from, how this is confusing. I was just reading what's on the label. I get it. But I want this to become easier for you. And when I'm online and I'm on, you know, Facebook groups for swimming pool owners, things like that, the vast majority of people use, using the word shock are using it incorrectly. And it's actually, actually tripping them up, preventing them from getting the help that they're wanting, and also preventing them from really understanding the nature of what's going on in their swimming pool and how you interact with it chemically. So if you're looking for a way to make your life easier, stop using the word shock and try to understand more about the baseline chemistry, the fundamentals of swimming pool water chemistry, free chlorine total chlorine, combined chlorine, total alkalinity, pH, calcium hardness, cyanuric acid, and maybe toss in phosphates as well. If you can speak with some level of working knowledge on each of those subjects, you're doing well as a pool owner. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.